Yeah, here we are at uh, Glen Helen for the start of the outdoors. Um, just getting ready. Uh, bike was checked yesterday. We had some uh, press day on Thursday and James Road. And felt good. So uh, we're looking forward to it, man. Kick off of summer. Hey, what's that? How was up? You all right? Yeah, we just uh, finished our first practice session. We uh, we were second, a couple of ticks off Dunge. So made a couple of changes, gearing, um, some clicker changes, and we get ready for the second time practice. Yeah. 
Hey guys, what's up? We just uh, finished practice here at Glen Helen, uh, first outdoor race. So seems like we, we've been out here riding a lot since we were out here, you know, doing a week, at least once a week. But the tracks, the tracks kind of one-lined it right now. Um, you know, it's really fast still. I'm trying to uh, get the bike set up right now. You know, struggling a little bit. So you know, we'll try to get it. So it's first round. You know, try to get out here with some good points. Um, I don't know how fast or slow. I think we're like third or fourth, you know, in time. So it's gonna be a long race, long series. Uh, it's not too hot out here. So uh, a lot of guys just going for us the first race. So uh, go back, eat up. We've got about an hour to get ready, and uh, you know, hopefully it goes good. First moto, we got um, sixth. Uh, started about eighth or ninth. Worked his way into fourth, and then a lapper fell in front of him uh, at the bottom of the big downhill. He had nowhere to go. He ran into the guy. Um, Trey got around him, and then he went back after Trey. And uh, at the end of the sand rollers, uh, I don't know if Trey checked up to go inside, but James had nowhere to go and hit him. So he started again. Uh, and made his way back to six. So uh, just getting ready to do the normal uh, very quick prep here at the outdoors and uh, we'll get ready for moto two. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, we just finished uh, second moto. Uh, rough day, uh, very rough day. Uh, first moto, um, got a bad start. Uh, like, I wouldn't say mid-pack, normally mid-pack in Supercross, maybe like 13, 14. Uh, made my way up to fourth, I believe, um, and ended up running the back of Trey. He, I don't know if he stalled it or um, he went to switch lines, but he basically stopped in the corner, I hit him. Um, bent the bike up, went back to like 12 to 13, and uh, made my way back up now nah, to six. And you know we was kind of struggling pretty bad today uh, with bike setup. Couldn't really nail it. And then uh, second moto, I uh, got a good jump off the start, and I don't know what happened, but I guess it was me and JP we tangled and almost went down pretty tough. Uh, and so I was mid pack that time, and then uh, you know was kind of steady, steady to work my way up. Uh, got around, uh, got around Metcalf. Was catching Barsha a little bit uh, for fifth, and uh, made a mistake. Metcalf got around me, uh, made a mis another mistake. Metcalf pulled away, and I closed out. Then um, tried pushing a little bit, almost lost it. About took 30 fans out. I went into the fence. <laughs> uh, sorry about that, guys. I went into the fence, saved it though. Uh, I think because they were sitting on the fence, that's why I didn't go flipping over it. Um, and then uh, I think we ended up like seventh or something like that. So it was it was a rough day, uh, and 
it, it was pretty simple. Uh, felt felt pretty good, but not just we just didn't know the setup and out here uh, with this track, um, you know, hard packing how rough it got. When we, it's not like Supercross, you can override it. Here, you got to set up, it's got to be right, and we didn't have it right, so. Thought maybe we could have done a little bit better, you know what we had. Um, but you know, two bad starts and you know one crash is not. Uh, it's, uh, it's hard. To, it's hard to make up time when you're not fast already. So uh, go back. Uh, long series. Um, you know, salvage points where we are. Um, you know, you get, get you know lose 10 points a motor, or you can lose 25 and had to kind of make that choice. Uh, uh, pushing any hard, I probably went over. So uh, we'll be back next week. Um, you know, we got the first one out the way. Uh, we know how the series is. You know, things don't really start kicking in until you know round three, four. So I uh, can get off this uh, Glen Helen dirt in uh, California, go up to Hangtown, and then go on from there. The Suzuki RMZ, designed by champions for champions. Choose from two different Yoshimura power packages or $600 customer cash and get low financing when purchasing a new 2014 RMZ.